Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today, I'm going to be talking about how the Washington Redskins can win the NFC East or make the playoffs in 2020. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So, let's get right into the video. And before we start, I am not saying the Redskins will make the playoffs or will win the NFC East in 2020, but I'm just going to be telling you guys how they can do that. So, let's get started. So, one of the main reasons why I think we could end up winning the NFC East is because in 2018, when we had a solid run game and a quarterback that didn't turn the ball over that much, we were winning games. If you look at the 2018 season, we started off the season 6-3 and three before Alex Smith broke his leg against Houston. And you know how we did that? We did that with a solid run game and a solid defense. Our defense was carrying us in those games. Our defense was playing super good until Alex Smith got injured. And the reason why our defense played worse after Alex Smith was injured is because we had quarterbacks like Colt McCoy, Mark Sanchez, and Josh Johnson on the field. So the defense was almost always on the field and they were getting tired. But if you look at the first uh, seven to nine weeks, all our wins were super, we weren't scoring that many points except for a few games. We were scoring in the low 20s. You look at the Cardinals game, we won 24 to 6. The Colts game, we lost, but we didn't give up many points. Packers, 31 to 17. Saints, we got blown out, but they were very good that year. And the Panthers, 23 to 17. Cowboys, 20 to 17. Giants, 20 to 13. We got blown out by the Falcons. We beat the Buccaneers, 16 to 13, and we lost the Texans by two points. So all of our wins. And even our losses were very low scoring with the exception of the Saints game and the Falcons game. We were winning games by not much, but because of our good run game, our good defense, and because Alex Smith, he wasn't playing that good, but he was he was a game manager and he wasn't turning the ball over. That was the most important thing. We were controlling the game. We had a lot more time of possession than other teams. So I think if we can do that this year, then we can possibly win the NFC East or make the playoffs because our run game, if healthy, should be very good this year. You got Adrian Peterson, obviously. You got Darius Geis, and you got Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick, and we'll see if Bryce Love is healthy. But we've got a decent run game, and then our defense should be solid with the addition of Jack Del Rio on uh, defense as our defensive coordinator and Ron Rivera. And then of course, Chase Young, Kendall Fuller, Thomas Davis, all those guys should help out. So I think we have the players to do it. It just depends on how Haskins plays. If he turns the ball over, not too much. And I think we can possibly do that. So the next reason why I think, or, uh, we can win the NFC East is because of our good coaching. And I think if Ron Rivera and Jack Del Rio instill a good culture into the team. I think we have a good chance of, not a good chance, but we have a chance of winning the NFC East this year. Jack Del Rio is a really, really good defensive coordinator. And Ron Rivera is a two-time coach of the year. And Scott Turner, he is a first-year offensive coordinator, but he has some decent experience as a coach. And we have one of the best uh, special teams coordinators. So it's going to be interesting. I really like our coaching staff, and I think that's another reason uh, we can win the NFC East this year or make the playoffs. Um, so yeah. And then really, guys, it all comes down to Dwayne Haskins this year because I think our defense and run game, like I said, are good enough to win games and keep us in games. But it all depends on how Haskins develops this offseason because if Dwayne Haskins, let's say, throws 25 to 30 touchdowns and less than 15 picks next year. I really do think that we can do a lot of damage next year. But if he throws more like 20 touchdowns and like 17 picks, that is not good football because that means you're turning the ball over all, like more than one time a game just uh, with interceptions. That's not even taking into account fumbles. So you can't win with that. If he if he throws less than 15 interceptions and he throws like 30 touchdowns, then I think we can uh, win a lot of games this year. But the key is limiting the turnovers and trying to get above 25 touchdowns or 25 touchdowns is good enough. But it really comes down to Dwayne Haskins' development because like I said, our defense this year should be good enough to keep us in games. And same with our running game. Our running game is... Uh, is going to be decent this year. Even if Darius Geis isn't healthy this year, we are going to have Antonio Gibson and 
Hopefully, we will have Bryce Love. My best guess is we're going to have one of the two, Bryce Love or Darius Geis, healthy for this year. And we also have J.D. McKissick. So I really am a firm believer in our run game. I think that if we're healthy, I think we can have a better run game than we did in 2018. That's how, uh, that's how high I am on our run game. So let me know what you guys think about our run game. But I am very, very excited. But one of the other biggest factors for 2020 is if our team stays healthy. Because as you guys all know, the last three years, we've had the most players on IR in the NFL. And some of that has to do with our training staff, of course, and our medical people. But some of that just has to do with the players we have on our team. And of course, we've signed a bunch of free agents, so there's going to be a lot of different players. But a lot of the reasons why we haven't won games or we haven't made the playoffs in the last few years is because we haven't stayed healthy. Of course, the obvious one in 2018 with uh, when we uh, almost made the playoffs was Alex Smith getting injured, broke his leg. That kind of ruined our season. Cole McCoy also broke his leg. But it's not only those injuries. We've had countless, countless injuries on both sides of the ball. And it's just terrible. It's been consistently, we've been like the top of the league with injuries the last few years. And that's the big part of the reason why we haven't won games and we haven't been in the playoffs. And last year, it wouldn't have made a huge difference. But if you think about all of our injuries last year, you got tight end, you got Jordan Reed and Vernon Davis. Both Jordan Reed was out for the whole year and then Vernon Davis played like two games. Uh, you got Trent Williams who didn't play a single game last year and you got some other injuries on defense. So we have been injury riddled this whole really last four years and it's really taken a toll on us on our win total. I think we would be doing a lot better if that wasn't the case. So I think if we can stay healthy, which we haven't in the past, but I think the medical staff and the addition of a lot of different players should be able to help us next year. Let me know if you guys think That'll make a difference because I think if we can stay healthy, that honestly adds a win or two because, like I said, the last couple of years, it has been very, very ugly with Paul Richardson being out for really, he really never had a full year uh, of playing healthy with us. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. But overall, I think this team, we're still in the rebuilding stage. Here's our 2020 schedule. But I think if we can get to six to seven wins we will definitely make the playoffs in 2021, but it all comes down to Dwayne Haskins because I think we can make the playoffs in 2020 if Haskins plays good football or even if he plays average football and doesn't turn the ball over, I think we still have a chance to make the playoffs. But it comes down, in my opinion, the two biggest things, the two biggest factors this year for us making the playoffs are if Haskins develops and if he uh, is doing good with the playbook and if we stay healthy, because I think if we do those two things, I think we can win eight, nine, maybe even 10 games. But if Haskins plays like he did the first half of the season, like week nine through like 13 as a starter, then we could maybe win six, five games. And we'll see, though. I think he has been working extremely hard this offseason. He's lost almost 20 pounds. So we know he's putting in the work. We'll see how it translates to the field. I think we're going to get a better sense of how he's developed this offseason once the media is able to see him during training camp. But that is still going to be a while, probably another month. So we're just going to have to speculate for the next uh, few weeks until we get to see him in person. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I didn't say this before, but my record prediction for the Redskins this year is about six to seven wins, probably around seven. But... Like I said, if Haskins plays good, that can go up. Or if Haskins plays bad, it could go down. Really, it all depends on Haskins this year. Yes, injuries are important. Our coaching staff is important. The free agents we brought in are important. Chase Young is super, super important. But the quarterback is the most important uh, player on the team. And we seriously don't know what we're going to get out of him. So that's why it's so hard to make a record record prediction. 
and that's why I think a lot of team or a lot of people who are predicting us to win four, three, five games are going to get their record prediction wrong because they don't know how Haskins is going to play this year. I think he's going to take a big step, but we will see how much of a step he's going to take and if that translates to us winning eight, nine, ten games. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, turn on those post notifications, subscribe if you're new, join the channel membership if you can. I'll have that link in the description. And yeah, let me know if you think we can win the NFC East and what are your top three factors for us making uh yeah, making the playoffs or winning NFC East. I think, like I said, Chase Young is going to help us out a lot. I think our defense is going to be feared this year. So yeah, thanks for watching. Guys, stay safe and peace.